Good morning. This is my talk on the probability of life on other planets. What do you think about life on other planets? How does it make you feel? To some people, it makes them uneasy. To others, it provides a mystery which many wish to solve. What if I told you that there was a way to prove that there was aliens out there? Would you believe me? If your answer was no, I don't blame you. There's no proof, and the idea of life on other planets is scary. And it goes against everything that we as humans believe in. Although what I'm about to talk about may go against what you believe in, I ask you to bear with me and hear me out. What does the term alien mean to you? To some, it means little green men. To others, a foreign national in their country. Regardless of what it means to you, during this talk, the term alien is going to refer to life on other planets. The idea of aliens isn't new. For many years, people have been thinking about the stars and asking the same question. Are we alone? Although this question still hasn't been answered, we as humans do know that there's a high probability that aliens actually exist thanks to the Drake Equation. For those of you who don't follow the science community, the Drake Equation is an equation created in 1961 by Dr. Frank Drake. The Drake the Equation contains enough variables to find out the number of planets which contain alien life. The, up here on the screen, you can see the equation. The equation is as follows. N equals R multiplied by FP multiplied by NE multiplied by FL multiplied by FI multiplied by FC multiplied by L. The N stands for the number of civilizations in our galaxy where radio communications might be possible. The R represents the average rate in which stars are produced in our galaxy. FP is the fraction of those stars which have planets. NE is the amount of those planets which can support life. FL is the fraction of the planets which can support life, which will go on to develop life. FI is the fraction of planets which develop life, while that life will become intelligent. FC is the fraction of civilizations which develop technology to send signs of their existence into space. And L is the length of time it takes for these civilizations to release signs into space. Original estimates of this equation in 1961 were very hopeful and made the following assumptions. There would be about one star formed per year. One-fifth to one-half of all the stars formed would have planets. Of the stars with planets, one to five of them would be able to support life. 100% of those planets would develop life. 100% of those planets would go on to develop intelligent life. 10% to 20% of those planets would be able to communicate their existence to the world. Of those who communicated their existence, it would take between 1,000 and 100 million years for those communications to reach Earth. Overall, the group of people who calculated this formula discovered that there is an approximate relationship between the number of civilizations and the amount of time these civilizations take to send their signals into space. As a result, these original estimates believed that there could be around 1,000 to 100 million planets with life in the galaxy. This original estimate from 1961 still proves true for this equation to this day. Now, this original estimate may be interesting to you, but you probably want to know what I think about it. Well, first I should start off by explaining why I find alien life so interesting. I think it is interesting to me because it is one thing in which we as humans know nothing about. This relates back to what I believe is an essential quality of human nature. The desire to seek out the unknown. We did it when we colonized the Americas and when we created the Silk Road. We also did it when we first sent man into space. I see alien life as no different. The other reason as to why I find aliens interesting is because they have to do with space exploration, which is something that has always interested me for as long as I can remember. Well, that's my opinion. What do others say about it? Stephen Hawking clearly states in his lecture, Life in the Universe, that the possibility that the formation of something like DNA, which could reproduce itself, is extremely unlikely. However, in a universe with an extremely large or infinite number of stars, one would expect it to occur in a few stellar systems. 
but they would be very widely separated. This shows that Stephen Hawking, a renowned scientist, believes that there is a possibility of alien life in the universe. My opinion with regards to this formula and the idea that we can calculate alien life is that although this equation may not be fully accurate, and some of the variables might have to use estimates, this is still a very efficient way to calculate alien life. And who knows? Maybe someday humans will actually encounter alien life. And when we do, life will, without a doubt, change forever.